to pave way for the Homo Festival may have left some of these public places quiet and dull, but others appear to thrill their customers with various innovations. The following report has more. The ban on drumming and noise making is an annual traditional rite that precedes the celebration of the Homo War Festival by the guards. Ideally, for nightlife fans and club owners in Accra, it may appear unbeneficial because these clubs depend on loud music to get the attention of customers. Some clubs affected by the regulation still open for services without music, but a few others still make it a point to throw their customers with music through innovative ways. One of them is Club 9. Situated in Usu, each customer who patronizes their services is given a lead silent headphone which one can select from the music channels provided. And so, during these times, a silent party is created. <laughs> Owner of Cloud9, Kate Simbin, said that this innovation was to serve as a means to still meet the needs of their customers. Um, an idea that we got um, in terms of bringing luxury and service to Ghana. I mean, I've done over 60 clubs around the world, about 60 countries clubbing, and I always used to bring the crew when I was a flight attendant with Emirates, and I, I thought, bringing people to other people's places, why don't I do my own, you know, because I've done it so many times, and luckily I had my partner who is in Atlanta, who is actually the major co-owner of Cloud9, he's not in Ghana, so and then yeah we put it up and we decided to make it like our focus was mainly service because you go to these places and you have the facilities but you don't have the service that goes with it so we wanted something different and something more entertaining there is this ban on noise making and all that but we came to your entity and then we realized that you were having a different innovation here because we go to other places and there's no music yeah. but people are just enjoying just what up. exactly what motivated you to do this thing? so sometimes i say ignorance is no excuse okay. um we we're supposed to be all law abiding citizens right and at the same time make your business keep running so i've been living in dubai for so many years we have a period where it's ramadan where it's similar to this yeah. one where you can't really have loud music loud noise and stuff clubs and stuff but then i realized a few years back there was still clubbing going on but with the headsets mm. and stuff so i'm like it's almost the same thing so why don't we have the same innovation keep the business going keep the customers happy and then hey let's also obey the, the rules of yeah. the land and i mean 50 50 everyone goes on happy with her experience in the hospitality industry across the world, Kate found out that there is something missing in the Ghanaian hospitality industry. I think the attitude in Ghana is very, I'd say, disturbing okay. um, because we kind of think we are doing a favor to the customers that come in, that sh but it should be the opposite. You know, if someone is coming to your place, you should be happy. Okay. Um, and excited that some people are patronizing you, but we don't have that kind of attitude. And so that's something that I'm trying to change um, in my own place. Um, so people want to come there and feel like I would want to go back there. Aside from Cloud9, other atries, including Oliver Twist Shack, Food Yard, offer services to meet the needs of customers regardless of any order. This shows that the hospitality industry is gradually growing in its space to meet the mark by counterparts in different countries.